Thank you everyone. And uh, here comes the real speaker here. She cannot speak, she can only room room. So here's the speaker for her. And uh, to start the talk today, I would like to quote a poem because my sister is about a poem, right? All right. Give me the long straight road before me, a clear cold day with a nipping air, torn batteries to run up beside me, a heart that is light and free from care. They let me go, I cannot with her. My feet may lit, for my spirit shall be free at the brook that flow to the river, and free at the river that flow to the sea. And thanks again for letting me be on the side with my friend because I'm not fame with her. And um, you know, um, I was born in a very small town in Mekong Delta called Vinh Binh in Tinh Giang province in the southwest of Vietnam. And life, um, when I was young, uh, we had no internet, we had no YouTube, uh, we had TV, but very little program there. And because my only friend in books, because I was very lucky because my mom was a librarian at a very small library of my commune. And then I uh, read a lot of books about traveling stuff, and maybe you must know about the Sinbad movie, right? Or Journey to the West, the Monkey King, as you all may know, like Tom Malcolm, and dream about traveling far, far away to the West, to Pakistan, to India, to Afghanistan. And uh, I don't know, uh, sometimes my dad just brought back a world map, and pass on the world, I was very naughty there. And uh, my dad asked me to kneel down every time I did some stupid stuff and I face my face up to the wall, to the world map. And I said, ah, this is Africa, this is Antarctica, this is Greenland, this is United States, this is South America. But I, I, told, um, I talked to myself, maybe one day I could be there, but you know. Uh, and then I grew up like every other kid. Then I grew up and go to university. And uh, for the whole four years in university, I only like walking and use the bus and uh, cycling. I only dream but I, one day I will uh, on my own motorcycle. And uh, when I graduated, I bought my first motorcycle ever, and this is her. I call her Memo. Memo is Mekong, Mekong Delta Motorball because the sounds very much like the like Mekong uh, Motorball, and then. Uh, I started traveling with her, and I remember like 20 years ago, I traveled traveling around the world, and then I start the journey of 100 kilometers, and then 1,000 kilometers, right to the north, to the south, to Singapore, and then going back, and then I told myself, hey, uh, life, I can travel like 1,000 k, 10,000 k to Singapore, why don't I, why, why don't I just go further and further? Because uh, if I get out of uh, South Asia, I will need to apply the visa, but it's totally possible because I traveled to Europe already, I get a Schengen visa before. And then uh, one day on the 1st of June 2017, I said goodbye to my mom, to my dad, to my younger brothers, to my friend. And then I go to Cambodia border in Mumbai, in Bavet border. And then I said goodbye uh, one last time to my to my lovely Vietnam, and then I get on the 80,000 kilometers on around the world. And uh, first I traveled to France and uh, to from Asia to Europe, and then Thomas said, "Why do you stop here? Well, what's stopping me now? Because uh, okay, this is the ocean, Arctic Ocean to South America, and then I decided to not come back, but to keep traveling to South America to Chile, and then South America." Uh, Chile to Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia, and then I told myself, why not North America? And then I keep going north, and then I keep going west to Australia, and then to Africa, to Antarctica, and then the COVID came uh, in around February 2020, and then I decided to, it's time to go home. And you know, everybody has doubt. I told my, uh, I have doubt too. Life, uh, what if, can I go further? What will happen? life accident, stop, passport stolen, or some bad thing may happen. And then, uh, sometimes I told myself, why, why do I need to do this? Okay, that's a dream. Everybody has a dream. They have to pursue their dream. They have to go further as I uh, wanted to. Uh, and then, that's one day, uh, this around, um, let's remember, like around uh, 2019, 20, no, 2018, when they said, uh, 
uh, in New Lulisas is a very cold town over the Arctic Circle, over 66 degrees north, and then uh, it's around minus 35 degrees, minus 35 and the along um, by the Arctic Sea, and you look up to the sea, uh, and look up to the, uh, by, by the sea, look up to the sky, and you see the, you know, Aurora, Aurora Borealis, it's the nocturn sky, it just dancing over my head, uh, in the, uh, uh, Icelandic, no, uh, it's the, um, uh, um, uh, they call the um, Eskimo people uh, in their in tradition is like a spirit that's over, over the sky and they, and they really like, hey, I'm doing, I'm, um, doing my dream now. Now I'm here alone, but I did what I wanted to and uh, I was very happy. Uh, okay, and uh, let's talk about dream. Maybe you, you're thinking now, uh, he's sitting another uh, guy talking about dream, just follow your dream, do what you love, and uh, dream, uh, never give your dream, blah, 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 and you are not wrong, and just another guy talking about dream. But why do people always talk about dream? You know what? Why do always, why people always talk about dream, follow your dream, dream stuff? And you know what? Because uh, there's two things, there are two things on the world life that uh, unavoidable is debt and tax, right? But the dream, nobody can tax your dream. And the dream is a true. If you really, really dream, you, your dream is big enough. And um, uh, yeah, because I did the world tour with a very small scooter here, because my dream is big enough. And because I had the uh, very first time I have enough preparation, and uh, I travel around the country first, and then I travel further to South Asia, and then to Asia, and then I keep going uh, further. And because uh, I know that you have to go to work, you have to work in a cubic office, and you have to have salary at the end of the month to buy for your stuff, to raise your children, to raise your family. And um, I, I don't say it's not respectable. It's really respectable, even for me. I told you the truth, when I start this trip, I only, you know what, you know how much money I have when I start the trip? It's only $2,000. Yeah, it's only $2,000 because all the money I have uh, from 30 years, that's that I started the trip when I was 30 and I give it on to my parents, to my younger brother because he's attending the university there. And uh, I, uh, I calculated that from the second or from the third month, I will have uh, enough reputation so that the brands, the company will know that uh, I'm, I'm really doing the world to a good scooter. Uh, when I start, I told them, hey, uh, I want to drive the world with motorcycle, you want to uh, sponsor me, uh, you want to give me some clothes, you give me some money, you support my visa fee, or stuff, but, and everyone, uh, every brand there is, is no, you're crazy. You travel the world. Uh, you travel the world with uh, with a motorcycle. And which motorcycle you have? Oh, it's it's a Honda uh, 97 cc. It's not even 100 cc. And you're crazy. How do you cross the border? How uh, how do you cross Afghanistan to cross Pakistan, Iran? Very dangerous. How do you go to Africa? How do you go to South America? It's the ocean there. You swim to across the ocean with your motorcycle. No way. No, no, no. I will ship it by airplane or ship it by container. Trust me, I, I'm really do it. And then nobody, everyone say no, no, I don't trust you. No, no, it's, it's crazy. Just go home and stop lying to us. And then, yeah, that's true. But there's only two comedy and two of my friends who really trust me because they know that I travel a lot, and then, uh, and then uh, I don't, I don't really care anymore. I believe I can do it, and I can play from the third month when I uh, enter India or Pakistan. Uh, the newspaper we know and the brands we know that I'm really doing it, and uh, it's turned out I was right. And then from the third month. The fourth month, the fifth month, on the day of 150, I reached uh, Paris. I took a photo of me and Memo in front of the Eiffel Tower, and everybody is getting crazy. Not even in Vietnam, but uh, even in Singapore, and Malaysia, and Thailand. Hey, that's one Vietnamese guy there taking a photo with the in front of the Eiffel Tower, and then everybody is crazy and taking photo and newspaper uh, talking about me because you know, the first guy to do something. 
uh, in the whole country for the history four thousand years in your country, you will be have you will have a chance to of getting very famous. It's a um, also a chance, but a very hard thing because you don't know who who you ask. Hey, because if someone did it before, hey, how you do it? And uh, which document you need? How about the visa stuff? You can ask a lot of questions. But when you are the first guy to do something for the first time in the home country, and you you know you don't know uh, you don't know who to ask. You only search it on the Google, on the Facebook group, or the foreigner who already did it. The Japanese, you add the American, the European. And it's very easy for them because they don't need a visa for every country they enter. But for me, because I travel uh, uh, some time before, only in South, mainly in South Asia, but I know how to apply. And I, uh, I save a lot of money and working on the road, writing stuff every night and trying to accomplish my dream. And uh, uh, it's, uh, it turned out uh, the trip is okay. And everything is safe until uh, until I uh, until like 1,111 days later after I started the trip, and uh, everything is smooth and uh, I'm still alive. Oh, I, I wouldn't be here today with my friend to talking <laughs> with you now. And um, uh, yeah, uh, I know it's not easy uh, for you to do another trip like that. But uh, what I really want to say today because. In the closing of the, the TED talk today, uh, I don't want to make you. <laughs> I don't want to make you sleep anymore, and I don't. I'm not. I don't want to be the one who uh, just killing like very quickly and like follow your dream, uh, do something big. No, you you don't need to do another trip like me, like to say three day, uh, three years to travel the world with a motorcycle or or with a bicycle. Uh, you can fly or you can do whatever you want, but what I want to really want to tell you now is just try to travel as far as possible. Uh, now you are attending university um, and uh, after you graduated, you know in the, uh, of the country they have something like a gap year, right? They will say one year to travel to wherever they like, they can go to uh, Bahamas, uh, there's some bad thing there, they go to Bali, they go to Africa to uh, run with the uh, antelope, to run with the uh, rhino, or you can go to Antarctica to see the penguin, to swim with the uh, orcas, or you can go to India, you go to China, you go to Japan, you go wherever you like. But try to, once in your life, to travel as uh, far as possible to, to see uh, the world, to see that the world is, is not really that big. It's very easy to travel now. You just go to Taxi New Airport, put a flight ticket, and like one or two hours later, you are you would be, you would be in another country, or you can try to do an overlanding trip like me. You cross the land border with bicycle or with a very little scooter like this, or with a very big bike, and uh, yeah, just go see the world. And before, because you can have, you can try to work as uh, much as possible to have. Try to have as much money as you can, but like 20 years, 30 years, or 40 years later, you will, what will you do with the money? You will buy the, the most beautiful coffin in the shop, or, and then you look like, hey, I've wasted all my young life to, just to go to work and getting married to make my parents happy, and, and then you regret, but there's no chance of getting back. Alright, so uh, to close the talk today, there's uh, one book, very famous. Uh, up, uh, let's say, on the road by Jack Kerouac, the course saying, live, travel, adventure, bless, and say no sorry, such a beautiful uh, and wisdom words. Thank you.